Hello friends, Prabhat here again. Today we will learn how to import dashboards into Open Observe. Okay. So I have the setup that is available where uh, I'm and we, uh, where we are importing logs and metrics from one of our Azure clusters, uh, Azure AKS clusters, essentially. Okay. And uh, and since AKS is standard Kubernetes. It emits a lot of logs and standard Kubernetes metrics that we will be able to see on the, our dashboard. And if we have used Open Observe Collector, you have ready-made dashboards available for that. Okay. So a bunch of these dashboards that we'll see after importing. I'm on version 0.9.2 RC1 for the most recent versions these dashboards should work uh, just for you to understand uh, uh, that these dashboards they have been evolving quite a lot so dashboard format has been evolving simply because we've been adding a lot of features to them so make sure that you are one of the recent versions of dashboards uh, let's take a look at some of the metrics we have a lot of these metrics standard metrics available yeah and uh, if you go to streams, metrics, a lot of these metrics. And these are essentially around 318 metrics. These are being sent from our AKS clusters using Open Observe Collector. Into this uh, Open Observe uh, instance. Okay. And based on this, uh, what we'll try to do is that we'll try to import dashboards. Let's create a demo dashboard. dashboards. Hmm. Demo dashboards. And in this demo dashboard folder, we'll try to create import these dashboards. Now there are a bunch of these dashboards. You can actually import one by one or if you want to install or uh, import all of these you can actually clone this particular repository and then you'll be able to import all of these dashboards in a single shot okay so let me first go ahead and try to install and uh, import one of these okay kubernetes team pod and let's go ahead and import there are three ways in which you, you can import if you have the f uh, exported json file locally you can you can use this first option so let's uh, download this file K kubernetes namespace pod dash dashboard dot json okay drop your file here or click here this is the file namespace pod dashboard dot json okay and what we will do is we'll open this Once we have it here, we are going to go ahead and import this. So, as simple as that. Just got imported and this works perfectly well. Now, this is namespace for a single pod, so you do not have this particular pod in this in cube system namespace, so you don't get the data. Actually, you don't get it here as well. So, if it is there, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so that is how it works. There are no requests and limits set, so there's no data available way available for it. There are no PVCs, so there's nothing around this. Let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, let's try to import using the second method: import dashboards from URL. Now, this particular file, uh, don't try to copy this. URL, this is not going to work because this is not the URL of the file. This is the URL of this particular page. Hit raw here. Now, this is the URL. Let's copy this and add the URL and import it. And you're able to see the data. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete this once again and try a third approach. Okay, the third approach to import a dashboard is you being able to copy and paste the entire JSON. 
So if you are here, if you want to just copy this, click here, copy raw file. Instead of trying to copy it manually, you missing something. Just clicking this copy raw file is a lot more easier. Just click this and paste this here. And then import it. And this should work out of the box. Super easy. Now, if you have too many dashboards, that becomes a problem when you are importing it. You have too many of them. What you can do is you can actually clone this repository. Okay. Okay. Say so mkdir uh, demo one. CD demo one. And what I'll do is that get clone this particular repository. Oh, well, not here. What we need is this. Get clone. Okay. And done. CD dashboards. We've got the data. Now, if you want to import import this, let's just let's delete this one. Import. And what I want to do is that import files here. I'll go to Prabhashama demo one dashboards Kubernetes open up self collector. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and open import them. Import and I've been able to import all of these dashboards in one go. Okay. So let's take uh, one of the most common one that you might want. Data from all the namespaces. Cube system, CPU, memory, all of this stuff. Fairly straightforward. So do we have an open observe set of matrix available here as well. Open observe collector. And if you, okay, let's take a look at one more set of dashboards that I want you to specifically see. Open observe itself. If you want to monitor open observe, for open observe, observe itself, you have two dashboards. Let's create a, a demo O2. Let's call it demo O2. Okay, demo O2, import the dashboard. Uh, let's infrastructure copy and here I'll paste it here. Let's import this. So open up some infrastructure. Okay, select the right namespace where open up was installed, and for all your queries, you'll get the data for your ingesters. You'll be able to get similar details, compactors separately alert managers, the post method is being used, etcd, and routers, all of them. So this, this provides a good uh, information around infrastructure for OpenObserve. Uh, OpenObserve also exposes its, exposes its own matrix. So let's try to import that and see what we get from there. OpenObserve internals, let's take a look. Uh, let's make sure that we are in the right namespace in just while speed. So let's say what is the while speed that we're talking about? We are ingesting kind of roughly 8.58 MB per second. Uh, that's the while speed. Ingest, ingest speed is around 1.14 MB with some spikes out here. We're getting data from doing something. Reads and writes from the val okay uh, compaction when is compaction happening that piece uh, how many storage keys do you have in the metadata and the size of each the actual storage bytes how much data is actually stored okay uh, Ingestion speed total. We are ingesting at roughly around 14.3 MB per second volume and around 500 records per second. 
what is the amount of query cache that, that is being utilized. Quite a good amount of information. Okay. And latency for APIs, all the APIs. So we've got a good amount of information. And if you have built your own dashboards and you want to export them, all you have to do is click this particular button, export dashboard, we'll export it. And then this particular, your dashboard, whatever you exported, you can place it in a GitHub repository or you can contribute it back uh, by creating a pull request to this particular repository. So the rest of the world can use it as well. Awesome, I'll stop here, thank you.